Hello, my fellow fans of Faerun, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, the core campaign. Alright, today I'm going to finish up this wizard dungeon, and then we'll see if we can move on from there. Hmm, I don't remember if I searched these remains or not. I did not give me this potion. Actually, I'm not sure if I tossed this room at all. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Um... So, we'll continue through here, where I'm sure I'm going to fight more elementals. This was a summoning room for fire elementals, but the hallways always seem to have air and water elementals. My steel will strike out of our way! And sadly, the worst thing about the water elementals is they have a instant kill attack, which really sucks. Especially when dying to it over and over again, even though it's easy to save for your level. Hey guys, who's guess who's played this a couple of times now? Dying to water elementals. That would be me. Also, I have some strength damage. I want to take care of that. Okay, let's use this restoration. Alright, so in this next room are going to be Umber Hulks and a Battle Devourer. So I'm going to prepare for this room, not that way, by drinking this Potion of Clarity, which will make sure the Umber Hulks can't confuse me and thus make me easy prey. And then we're going to beat up on some Gorilla Beetles. And once we're done with that, we'll take on this Battle Devourer, which all it does is try and cause fear in me, which I'm immune to. There's the third one. And a good old crit will just drop most things in one hit now. Okay, so the Umber Hulks are pretty easy now. And now I get to fight the Battle Devourer. The Battle Devourer is like the Intellect Devourer from the first chapter, except it's basically built for combat, uh, where the Intellect Devourer is a rogue. The Battle Devourer would be like a fighter. Has more hit points, has more armor class, better attacks, and if I remember correctly, it has some really good damage reduction. But we also have the magic weapons to overcome that. So, they go down pretty quick now. Alright, this room is filled with little winged outsiders that we want to just take care of as quickly as possible because they can be a thing. But otherwise, they're just kind of a nuisance. Okay. Lock that for me, please. There's some treasure. You didn't unlock it, did you? Because you had to make a save. Alright, in this bookcase, there are notes for a couple of the... Forget it. It's knocking. Anyways, in this bookcase are notes on how to solve the two dilemmas in the dungeon, the two puzzles, but uh, we freed Nax, so we don't need to know how to solve the next puzzle, and we'll move on. Alright, so down this hallway is another one of those bastard water elementals, and we'll see if she tries to drown me. She has not yet, so I am happy about that. And then a fire elemental just wanders in because we are right next to the fire elemental summoning. But it seems to be going down pretty quick, so let's quickly move over here and I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen again by flashing this pedestal. 
can't walk away from this. If I remember correctly, that should disable any more fire elementals from coming through. Oh, that was wrong. So now we're going to We die. shall not be defeated! The real problem. This is crazy. That should stop any more fire elementals from coming through. To okay, there we go. And then I guess toss the room real quick. I passed two doors in this hallway, and we'll go back and take a look through them. Alright, this first door is... A room full of My shadow fiends, where I'm going to lose true. a ton of strength really quickly. Since my shield doesn't really help in this situation, I'm just going to attack with my sight, and hope to hit damage very quickly, and then I'll fix the strength damage once we're done. Alright. room real quick. Oh, wait. Seriously encumbered now because of the strength damage they put on me. So, let's get rid of that damage. Aha! Okay. Now, now we'll toss the room. Now that I have a halfway decent carrying capacity. Hey, the slad's tongue that we would need to free Nax. And the Potion of Clarity that you would need to not die in that Umber Hulk room. Or if your saves are good enough, you can just rely on that. And some Magic Armor. Excellent. Okay, let me move that Banded Mail into a bag. And move the Scale Mail into a bag. Charwin does not appear to want to try and deal with this door, so I will just blunder right into it. Alright, so we've got a wizard's lab here, and so this Ring of Melth is what you would need if you're not a spellcaster and didn't have uh, uh, Melf's Acid Arrow prepared. And that just lets you cast uh, Melf's Acid Arrow once per day, I believe. Beyond that, these lab notes will be useful. But none of these other books will be. Okay, so let me take a look at these lab notes. These appear to be the lab notes of Cyril, the mage who created this laboratory. I believe I at have at last unlocked the keys to creating the Staff of Command, as I suspected all along. The key ingredients were a Rakshasa Eye and a Quartz Crystal. However, determining the proper spell to cast on the components once they were combined in my laboratory was not as simple as I had first assumed. My error came in looking for an obscure solution and missing the stunningly obvious answer right in front of me. Of course, the nef necessary spell to create a staff of command is dominance. I must remember this valuable lesson. The most obvious solution is often the right one, even when dealing with the arcane. Alright, so, I think I left the quartz stone somewhere. It's probably in this chest. Okay, well, so if you come to this altar, and you take the Rakshasa Eye, and, oh, I did pick up the Quartz Stone. And the Quartz Stone, I don't believe I currently have the spell prepared that I need, though. I may not even have it. Oh, I have spell slot. Empty spell slots. I'll need to fix that. But I'm not even sure if I actually have the... I have Dominate Person. Okay. Well, I can try this. I'm not sure this is correct. And then we'll 
take another whoops missile storm uh, I like acid breath because it doesn't care about spell resistance and finally one more knock spell Okay, so if you'll give me one second, I'm going to go ahead and rest and see if this Dominate Person spell works to create the Staff of Dominance. Okay, so because it was a 5th level spell that I'm going to be trying to cast, I cannot have my armor on, or else I will fail at casting the spell. Alright, so cast spell. I need the Wizard spell. That one, and Dominate Person. And uh, there she is, the Staff of Command. Makes you immune to mind-affecting spells, and then you can cast Charm Monster, Charm Person, or Dominate Person for a number of charges. It comes with five, and Charm Monster and Dominate Person take five charges per use. Charm Person only takes two charges. Now, you can use this basically to get better... Well, let's put my armor back on before I forget. But you can use that to get better prices at stores, or uh, turn enemies into friendlies until you go to your next rest. Okay, so... I left these remains. Oops, up. And then this area is the last one of the dungeon, I believe. And there's more Shadow Fiends. So I'm going to let them come out to me because I don't want to trigger that trap my right now. Will strike my steel will strike true. Hey, Sherwin hit him with a sonic attack. That's great. I'll have to uh, fix my strength damage once again, but... Again, these guys can't really kill me as far as I know, so it's more of a nuisance rather than anything else. Charwin keeps hitting him with Sonic damage, so I'm happy about that. Yep, one more joins the fray. They all decide I am the tastiest looking morsel, so in they come in. Mm, might want to heal the strength damage now just so I can hit these guys more effectively. Although I think I'm missing more to the 50% miss chance than missing the armor class, so. Stupid incorporeal things. We shall not be defeated! Thank you, Sharwin. Now that we've doubled up the attacks, this should go a little bit quicker. Okay, and down he goes, and out comes the scroll case once again, and fix that strength damage. I have to lighten this load. Alright, and I'm gonna walk straight into this trap, because neat. Okay, so this is the gong room. You were told how to solve this puzzle by Nax, or... If you didn't free Nax, like I said, there was a bookcase with the answer to it. Visually, you can't tell which gong is which, so the only way to figure that out is to go over here and then right-click on them and examine them. And that's a puma. That's the winter wolf. This is a dire bear. And a dragon. So... If you remember correctly, it was cat, dog, bear, dragon. So we'll sound out the gongs. I guess you can also click on them and it'll tell you what the sounds uh, are. Bear growls and dragon roars. 
and one more bad guy. You will never take the snow globe, insignificant mortal. Huge fire element with lines. All right, so if you can see this circle, the fire elemental has an aura. Oh, I missed a trap. Interesting. Anyways, the fire elemental has this aura of fire around him. So if you're in this circle, you take an amount of fire damage every round. Again, my armor is great, and so I don't care about fire damage at all. Also, I think I'm wearing... Uh, yeah, Ring of Elemental Resistance and the Ring of Power. So that also reduces the amount of damage I'm taking from elemental stuff. Oh, Ring of Magic Defenses. Uh, spellcraft plus two, spell resistance 14, and you can cast Dispel Magic. Neat. And I'm just going to keep uh, hitting all the traps. Well, I am kind of hurt, so let's use this healing kit. Hey, no trap on that one. But what about this one? You look like a trap chest. Nope, just some gold. Alright, so Nax actually didn't have anything except a ring of magic defenses. But this is what we're here for, right here. A snow globe. And that's it. So, with that, guys, I have one more thing I need to do today, and that is to talk to Sharwin and finish up her story. So, let's go ahead and take care of that. Alright, so, Sharwin, tell us the end of your tale, please. Yes? Is there something you need? I would like to talk for a while. Talk about what, Kigoro? I'd like you to continue your story from before. Oh, fair enough. I think I remember how the rest of it goes now. I told you that Tamerlin had agreed to do a task for each of the Triune, correct? The first task was for Erdre, Fania. He was to retrieve the feather of the largest phoenix to fly the skies of the deep southern islands. Uh, excuse me, deep southern lands. Uh, for many long years, Tamerlin would scour the highest peaks of Termish and Chondoth, following the legends of the great birds, yet never spotting them. A century of hardship would pass before finally Tamerlin would return to the northern mountain, ragged but triumphantly holding the pinion feather of a great phoenix. For Sahanin Mumbo, he would seek out remnants of each of our three moons that had fallen to the ground in a blaze of fire. Another century he would spend in search of them, long buried, long forgotten and scattered. Finally, with tears in his eyes, he returned with the three rock shards in his hands. For Hanali Selenil, he would seek the golden heart of a dragon dead of simple age, one of the rarest things that someone could seek. He wailed at the thought, but was determined. For centuries he wandered, following rumor after rumor, until finally he came to the northern lands, when he heard of a wizened worm breathing his last. Tamalin spent many years finding the creature and then befriending him, singing to the aged dragon as he weakened slowly through the decades. When at last the great beast passed, Tamalin was saddened but also overjoyed that at last his quest was at an end. Before Tamalin would return to the goddesses, However, he was found by one of his own people. He was told the sad news that his beloved wife and children had died of a terrible illness during his absence. Uh, torn by the news, Temelin wept and railed with anger at the goddess who had kept him from his family for so long. 
she did not answer. Tamerlan poured his grief and his pain and his loss into a song. Since he could not sing of love, he would sing of this, sing of all that he had missed, and this is what he sang to the goddess. And finally, Hanali Selonil came, with tears flowing from her golden eyes. You understand at last the meaning of love, child, she said. As promised, you shall be rewarded. With that, she lifted Tamalin up through the gates of Arvindor to join his wife and children, to spend eternity with them in paradise. And that is the end. It was a beautiful story. Thank you, Kiguro. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Why did you tell me that story, by the way? Well, I don't know much of that legend. Might be true. Uh, well, I don't know how much of that legend might be true, but I know there's some truth to it. There really was an elven bard named Tamalin, and he really did die in this region. Supposedly, he actually did write a song before he died, or so the rumors say. He was one of the greatest bards that ever lived. That song would have to be a masterpiece. To get my hands on it, to have a chance to sing it, to bring it to the world, that would be everything, Kigro. Uh, what about this? I found this sheet music in a temple of ancient lizard people. Is this the song you're talking about? It, it's written in Elven, and and the notes are. Oh my, that that's Tamalin's signature. That is it. This is it, Kigro. How did you ever find it? I... adventured. It, it's lovely. He truly was a master. I almost thought it was a fairy tale. That it couldn't be true. But... It is, isn't it? What are you going to do with it? I'm not sure I want to sing it. I want to spread it, just like... I'm not sure. I want to sing it. I want to spread it, just like Tamalin's, Tamalin intended to be. I think. Perhaps I'll sing it to the elves first. Who knows? I'm not sure how I can ever repay you for this gift, Kingo. I, I hope my friendship will be enough. Uh, your friendship is repayment enough, Sharwin. Uh, thank you, Kingo. I want you to know that I have no intention of running out on you. The song can wait. Your mission comes first. Let's go and end this then, and find your words of power. The end of a great tale awaits us. Alright. And with that, we have completed this area. So I'll be heading back to Barun as well uh, next time. And we'll be picking up a new companion, because we have given Sharwin her song that she needed. So, thank you as always for joining me guys, and I'll see you next time when we continue on at Berenna's Well. Actually, strike that, I gotta go back through the Coldwood and take care of some side quests in the Coldwood, so we'll take care of that next time. So, I'll meet you outside in the Coldwood. See you then!